Differential Leveling As for prerequisite information, do you know that differential leveling, also called direct leveling, is generally used in determining allocations of funds to establish a chain or network of BMs for future use. It requires a series of instrument setups along the survey rules and for setup, a horizontal line of sight is established using a sensitive level. The CVs or the Navy Construction Battalion commonly use this type of leveling in determining elevation during construction surveys. The objectives are to acquire and develop the skills of determining the elevation of a point from a benchmark of known elevation by establishing a single setup. Next is to acquire and develop the skills of determining the elevation of a point from a benchmark of known elevation by establishing multiple setup using turning points. And lastly, to develop the skills in using leveling instruments. The materials used are auto level, leveling rod, markers, and plumb bob. Procedures First, the instructor assigns the location of two points marked as A and B, which are intervisible with the instrument set up place between the points. Second, set up the instrument level on the suitable points, preferable about midpoint of the two designated station A and B, by driving the tripod firmly on the ground. Adjust the height of the instrument to the convenient level on instrument mount two tripod leg locks. Third, check the bubble in the vial of the level if it is in the center. Not adjust the screw by rotating clockwise or counterclockwise. Or take the back side fitting of point A where the leveling rod is being held vertical with the aim of a plumb bob. Then, the reading must be done up to the accuracy of a millimeter or thousands of meter. Tip, rotate the telescope after point B is inside. 6. The rod man transfer the leveling rod at station B and must hold it with plumb bob alongside to maintain verticality of the rod. 7. Take the foresight reading of the leveling rod. Again, the reading must be done up to the accuracy of a millimeter or thousands of meter. 9. Repeat procedures 1 to 8 for second and third triad. 10. Tabulate the data in table 4.1 single setup differential leveling. The instructor assigns the location of another two points marked as A and B. Set up the instrument level on the suitable points, preferable about midpoint of the two designated station A and B by driving the tripod firmly on the ground. Adjust the height of the instrument to the convenient level of the instrument man through tripod legs blocks. Check the bubble in the vial of the level if it is in the center. If not, adjust the screws by rotating clockwise or counterclockwise. Take the backside reading of point A where the leveling rod is being held vertical with the aid of a plumb bob. The reading must be done up to the accuracy of a millimeter or thousandth of meter. Rotate the telescope until the newly established point designated as turning point can be sighted. Ensure that the turning point should be almost equidistant from the instrument as the first benchmark from the instrument. The rod man transfers the leveling rod at turning 
point and must hold it with plumb bob alongside to maintain verticality of the rod. Take the foresight reading of turning point where the leveling rod is being held vertical with the aid of a plumb bob. The reading must be done up to the accuracy of a millimeter or thousandth of meter. Transfer the instrument to another location along the route to benchmark 2 where the first turning point is still visible in the telescope and follow the same procedures as in 2 to 8 until you reach the second benchmark. Tabulate the data in Table 4.2 Differential Leveling with Turning Points. As for discussion and conclusion, differential leveling uses the vertical distance difference between two points to transfer an elevation from one point to another. In this fieldwork, we try to determine the difference in elevation between two points, both of which are accessible from a single point of observation using a data level and to find the elevation of a point from a benchmark of an unknown elevation. A well-leveled ground should have the same elevation with respect to the sea level. The common sources of error in this fieldwork are the inaccurate reading of measurements, human errors, and instrumental errors. Human errors include not holding the leveling rod, in a vertical position, while instrumental errors include if the instrument or instruments used for getting the data in the fieldwork, which is the precise level for this fieldwork, is or are defective or if the instrument's bubble is not centered. So it is recommended to have patience in doing this fieldwork because this fieldwork has so many parts and a lot to be done. Also check first if the measuring tape is completely perpendicular to the ground before recording the measure measurement to lessen the error that may be acquired. Using a plumb bob is also recommended to see if the measuring tape is perpendicular to the ground. Teamwork is also required for this experiment because everyone has their assigned task to do to finish the full work on time. Follow the instructions and the manual carefully to avoid errors.